Hey, it's Captain Keith with Marine Max with another boating tip. I've had a lot of questions about uh, tying your boat up in a fixed slip, a fixed dock, as opposed to a floating dock. This is our 400 Dancer, and she's in a fixed dock here at Marine Max in St. Pete. You're gonna need a minimum of five lines. So this line I've got in my hand here, it's going from midship back to the stern. It's called a spring line. Then we've got two lines in the stern and two lines up in the bow. And we're gonna go through each individual line and show you what it does. Okay, so this is the first of the five lines that I mentioned, which is the spring line. What this line allows us to do or keeps the boat from doing is coming too far back in the slip and getting up against the seawall. So if you're out boating, you're coming back in, you're gonna to wanna to grab this spring line and get it onto this cleat here, and that's gonna hold you in the slip so we don't end up drifting too far back. Okay, well stepping away from my spring line, which I've got right here, I'm back here on the transom already. So you'll notice how these lines are crossed right here. They kind of work like a, a scissors or a teeter-totter. What this is gonna do is this line coming over to this cleat is gonna stop before I get over to that dock right there. So if I pull on this line, it's gonna let the boat go over. But if you notice, she's gonna come tight before it touches the piling. And the same thing vice versa with this one. If I pull this boat this way, it's gonna stop me before we get over too far and slip that way. So they're working against each other to keep the boat centered in the slip. Okay, one thing I wanna point out on this cleat, you'll notice the spliced eye is going through the cleat. My line's running this way. You wanna put the spliced end through the center of the cleat like this, and then that's gonna allow you to drop it over both sides so she locks on there. A mistake I see people make is sometimes they'll come through from this side and then they'll put it on there, but then when it comes tight, it's locked on there. So if I had a wind or current holding me away, I've got no way of unlocking that. So you wanna come through from the direction that it's getting pulled from and drop them over so that it comes through underneath. So when it's time to go, you can always just grab the loop and let her loose. Okay, so now we've made our way up to the bow and we've got two more lines. And you notice these just go out to the directions that they are. They're not, you don't have to bother with crisscrossing these, but they'll work the same way. If I try pulling the boat over this way, this line's gonna come tight before I can get too far over and bump into another boat or bump into the pilings on the port side here. So they work the same way. You just don't have to crisscross these. Well, I hope you found this quick little tip informative. For more information, you can stop by one of your local Marine Max stores or contact us online at marinemax.com. <music>